welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a spring kitchen refresh. So after taking down all of my Easter specific decor, my kitchen was feeling just a little bit unfinished. And so I wanted to do a refresh in this space. We are going to be tidying up, doing just some minimal cleaning here and there. But my main focus is putting out some new decorations and just creating a pretty spring scene here in the kitchen. So join me right now. We are just tidying up the space. Does anyone's kitchen look like this on a daily basis? We have kids' toys, uh, papers laying around, um, trash, you know, cardboard that needs to be recycled, all of the above. So let's go ahead and tidy up the kitchen together. This video did take me a couple of days to film and I don't even think that the two days that I filmed were back to back. Uh, the past week has been a little uh, kind of crazy. Uh, nothing's really going on except that Grant missed part of one of his days at school and that was the day that I was going to film this video. So um, it kind of put my filming and editing schedule uh, a little bit off. So that's why it's taken me a little bit longer to put out videos right now. but. Um, we are still cleaning up the kitchen. I had just a little sheet cake over here that I had made and so it was pretty much gone. We had just three pieces left so I'm putting that in a smaller container and just tidying up the whole kitchen before we get to the decorating portion. Okay, let's get started with some spring decorating. So I'm going to start here with my little diffuser set up here on the end of our kitchen counters. And I'm going to switch out the gingham towel on this little towel ladder from the green one to the pink one. If you saw my Easter decorating videos, the pink gingham towel was on the peg rail. And I decided to bring that over to this area just to add a little bit more color into the kitchen and keeping with that kind of pink and purple feel throughout the entire kitchen as well. So adding my lavender mini wreath around the base of my diffuser. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I always have a miniature wreath around the base of this diffuser. I just love it. I love the way that looks. Um, I think it's so pretty. So I will probably always have one there. But I'm going to go ahead and get the diffuser going. I can't remember the exact blend I used on this day. I think it had something to do with afternoon showers or something. It was titled something like a rainy day on Pinterest because it was rainy on this day. So let's get the diffuser going and get the room smelling really good. While I'm doing this, you guys will have to let me know in the comments below, what are you guys decorating right now? Are you focusing on your outside spaces? Are you just kind of living with your spring decor? Do you still have your Easter decor out? Are you switching to summer decor? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I know the spring stuff is not gonna be out too much longer at my house. Like I said, I filmed this video oh, about a week ago at this point, but, um, yeah, soon we will be doing outdoor spaces, front porch, back deck, planting flowers, all of that fun stuff. And then we're going to do summer decor inside as well. And that is when I will pull out all of my lemon decor. And I am so excited to put that out. I love how bright and summery it is. Mm -hmm. 
while we're doing a little kitchen refresh, I'm just going to restock my K-cups here next to the coffee station. I'm not really filling the coffee station lately. I may end up moving the coffee pot and switching some things around on my kitchen counters, but I'm just not really filling this space right now. So I'm gonna need some ideas on how to make my coffee station look cuter, I think. Okay, so I had this idea. So the knife block in the set that you see on the countertop, the black knives, we got those as a wedding present and we have been using them. We, we are about to have our ninth wedding anniversary later this year. And we have been using those knives since we got married. But I also have this set of Pioneer Woman knives over here that I got, I think for Christmas. And I loved the bright colors of them. And I just thought, you know, what if I could put those in the existing knife block just for probably spring and summer, just something new to look at and something new to use. And it's working out really well so far. And then I can still keep our nice black knives and probably just need to resharpen those at some point. And then I'll probably put those back out whenever we do some fall decorating. So over here on my peg rail shelf, I'm going to add this sweet little apron. So I found this when we were going through some things at my grandmother's house. She recently passed away about a um, little over a month ago. And um, I just found this in her house. I'm, I have no idea if she made it or if she wore it or if it's something she got at a yard sale or something that was given to her. I have no idea the history. Honestly, a lot of the pieces I've been getting from my grandmother's house are not necessarily sentimental to me. Um, it was, these were all of her things that she had, but she didn't use all of them. Like some things she probably bought secondhand or they belonged to um, her husband's family, like her second husband. He's not my grandfather, um, but he was like the grandfather I knew growing up. Um, but anyway, so these are like things that don't necessarily speak to me in a sentimental way, but I just love having those vintage pieces. And um, yeah, so I just loved this apron and I thought it gave a really good spring and like vintage cottagey feel to the peg rail area. So we're moving on. So clearly this is day two of filming because I'm just wearing a sweatshirt and have my hair up in a ponytail. <laughs> I was like, I should wait until a day where I look nicer. And then I was like, I cannot wait any longer to film this video. I'm just gonna have to do it and wear my Peloton sweatshirt. But anyways, you guys don't worry about what I'm wearing. Just look at the decorations. <laughs> so the tops of my cabinets were looking pretty bare. Um, after we took the Easter stuff down. So I'm just adding some existing pieces here in the middle. I made that um, enamel plate. I bought the plate at Hobby Lobby and I put that home sweet home on there using my Cricut. Um, so that's a piece that I like to rotate in and out here and there. And then we're going to style the corners as well. adding a this is the bot the, the McCoy cookie jar is what it is I just took the top off um, and I'm gonna put some rolling pins in here I've been collecting these um, actually one of them is from my grandmother's house on my mom's side one is from my grandmother's house on my dad's side and then that darker colored one is just like a new one actually I think it's a pioneer woman one but slowly increasing my collection of rolling pins. I need a bigger crock to keep them in. This is just the biggest thing I had to go with today, but it is a McCoy cookie jar. So I like having that in my stash as well. Okay, 
over here in this corner, I had stacked up this set of Ray Dunn Easter mixing bowls. Um, I am actually getting rid of those. I didn't really care for them this Easter season. I didn't even turn them around where you could read the words. And then the little bunnies around the tops, you can just barely see them. When you guys see what I'm about to put up next, you will probably understand why I'm just gonna get rid of these bowls. It's very hard for me to store decorations in this house. We don't have a lot of storage space. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of these bowls. But I did come across three vintage antique bowls at my grandmother's house. And so I'm gonna stack those up in this corner. The bottom one there is a McCoy wash basin and it has a matching pitcher but we did not have the matching pitcher at my grandmother's house so but it is a nice big mccoy bowl the second one i'm using is um, antique and it has like some leaves and blue acorns there around the rim and also in the bottom of the bowl as well and then the one i'm putting on top is unmarked on the bottom except it did say um, i think it said from lottie Christmas 1936. So this bowl is almost 90 years old, that scalloped one on the top. I love the style of it. Um, I don't know who made it or anything, but I do have some matching candlestick holders that you will see later in my chicken wire shelf. So I just love the look of those antique bowls so much better than anything else. And I think I will keep them out year round and I can add a greenery or floral to them depending on the season if I want to change it up. Okay, now we're moving on to the chicken wire shelf on our kitchen table. I'm going to turn around this Ray Dunn canister. I like the pink top that's on it, but I didn't really want the bunny to be front and center. So we're turning that around backwards. I have restocked my little napkin holder here with the napkins that were in my occasions bin in the kitchen, if you remember that. Everything's pretty much the same. I added this vintage butter mold here on the left side that's what that wooden box is that was from my grandmother's house as well and then we're going to switch up a few things here in the bottom so i'm moving my thrifted spring coffee cups into the center i like the pop of color everything else i'm going to be putting down here is white so i wanted the colored pieces to be in the middle and then on the left here i'm adding those candlestick holders i was telling you about that match that scalloped bowl um, yeah, circa 1936, you guys. So that's pretty cool. I may pull those out and actually put candles in them at some point as well. I think that would look really pretty up here on top of the shelf. And then here on the right side, I'm going to add a McCoy flower pot that's just in like a cream color. And then also this little bird that I have. And I think it looks really cute for spring. giving the table a quick wipe down after all that decorating you would not believe how much dried up play-doh there is on my kitchen table at any given time grant went through a really big play-doh phase uh, in the past like couple weeks he's kind of stopped now but man it was every single day there for a while and so um, dried play-doh also kinetic sand man that stuff is always on the table <laughs> Okay. 
And the last thing we're going to be doing before I give you guys the final looks at all my decorations is cleaning the sliding glass doors here. Um, I first need to take off all of the Easter window clings. We have window clings on the right side and on the left side we have little the little jelly sticker things. Oh my gosh, they're so nasty and there's so many like smudges and fingerprints on the glass from where Grant will take them off and put them back on all the time. So anyways, we are going to clean these doors so they are nice and you can actually see outside now, which is a good thing. <laughs> Alright guys, that is all the cleaning and decorating that we're doing today, but I hope you guys enjoy the final looks at my spring kitchen refresh. Okay hey guys, that is going to be it for today's spring kitchen refresh. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already. At Kindly Katie, I do lots of seasonal decorating, cleaning, and mom life videos, and I would be so glad to have you guys join me here. All right, I'll see you very soon in a brand new video. Bye!